Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to showcase you a Power BI project that I've created investing a lot of time and effort. If you're an experienced Power BI developer, you can add this project to your project list. Else, if you're someone who is trying to get job as a Power BI developer, this project is going to be of great help. You can showcase this project to your interviewers and grab the job. So for creating this project, I have invested a lot of time. I'm going to show you some new and unique features that I've added. So now I'm planning to sell this Power BI report along with the data set. So if anyone is interested in buying this Power BI report along with a data set, so you can email me on this email ID. So the price would be for Indian customers, it is going to be 999 Indian rupees. And for overseas customers, it's going to be 35 US dollars. If and only if you are interested in buying this Power BI report along with the data set, email me on this email ID and I will let you know the further process. So let's go back to the report. Let me go over the dashboard now. So this is Superstore Analysis Dashboard. So we have a Superstore data set from which we have created this Power BI report. And as you can see, this is the landing page. This report includes four pages, the executive summary, product analysis, customer analysis, and geographical analysis. And this we have created using page navigation and some designing techniques. So if I go to this executive summary, so this is the executive summary page. Here you can see some slicers to filter the data. And next you can see this card visuals. This is showing the total sales, total profit, orders, returned orders, product and customers. So these are the high level key performing indicators which is uh, there in every page. This page is giving uh, the summary of the sales and other metrics. If you see the first and second chart, this is showing uh, analysis for high sales and this is showing analysis for low sales. So here we are breaking down this sales by state, category and subcategory. This the first chart is showing the area where high sales are happening and the second chart is showing the areas where low sales are happening. In the bottom chart you can see it's showing sales over the month. So this blue line is a sales over the months and if you see the gray dotted lines this is the sales for previous year. One more thing you can notice in this bottom chart this data label is enabled only for top 10 values. The data label I have enabled only for top 10 values. So to achieve this top 10 data label, I have used conditional formatting and a measure which you can get from the Power BI report itself. Now, if you see on top of this page, it is asking to select measure and uh, currently the sales is selected. So if I select profit, everything will be changed for profit. So this three chart, if I click on profit, see now it's showing for profit. If you see here, it's showing analysis for high profit, analysis for low profit, and this is showing profit performance versus previous year. So when we change the measure to profit, now it is analyzing for profit instead of sales. When I change this slicer to profit, uh, everything uh, in the charts changed, including the text titles. So similarly, if I change to orders, it is going to change for orders and return orders as well. Next, let's go to the product analysis. So in this product analysis, uh, we have this first chart, which is uh, which product category is generating most of the sales. So this first chart is showing sales by product categories. So you can see here, so this chairs in the furniture category and phones in the technology are having the most of the sales. Here we can see the top 10 products based on sales. Top 10 and we can change this to bottom 10. This we have achieved using the bookmarks. So you can see the top 10 and bottom 10 products based on sales. And uh, this is segment distribution, which is uh, showing which segment is uh, having most of the sales. This is profit versus sales correlation chart by product. Each dot is a particular product and uh, the blue lines are the positive values and the red lines are the negative value. The blue color is the profitable products and the red color dots are the loss making products. If you see this uh, dot, so this product is uh, Canon image advanced copier. So this is having uh, this much sales, 61,599 sales uh, out of which the profit is 25,000. Similarly, here also we can change this measure from sales to profit so that uh, it is going to show profit instead of sales. See here, everything is changed and this can be done for uh, these four metrics. If you see this question mark on this first chart and if I hover over this, it is saying uh, click here to view product performance in detail. So here I have added a drill through page as well to give more detail on this product performance if i click here it will take us to a grid doing the product performance so these are the product category subcategory and these are the four metrics here we can expand or collapse uh, each category as well so if i expand this uh, copiers you can see uh, inside this copiers we have these many product names from here we can see all the details for the product uh, if i go back to the page let's go to the next page that is customer analysis the customer analysis we have top 10 customers uh, bottom 10 customers based on sales profit orders and return orders 
and in the bottom chart we are showing the total number of customers over the over the month and comparing it with the previous year here also we have this question mark which, uh, which will show the uh, customer performance in detail so if i go here so here you can see this it's having customer name and uh, we have the uh, the four metrics sales profit orders and return order. let's go back uh, next to this geographical analysis here we are uh, showing the first chart is profit by state, profit by city, profit by region and uh, profit by state. So here the blue ones are the most profitable state and the red ones are the loss making states. Here we can change it to sales as well. This will show uh, the data for sales and uh, this will show the data for orders. In this geography page as well we have this drill through feature. So we can click here and see the geographical data uh, based on the four measures. That is uh, sales, profit, orders and return orders. We can see the metric performance based on the country or state. Uh, so let's go back. And uh, if I want to go back to the landing page, we can click here in the tooltip it's saying go to home page. So if I click here, it will take us to the landing page. So this was all about this Power BI report. I have invested a lot of time creating this uh, so that it can be helpful for you guys. So if you're interested in buying this Power BI report with, along with the data set, you can email me on this email id and i want you to email me only if you are genuinely interested in buying this power bi report i have mentioned the price here for indian customers it's 999 indian rupees and for overseas customers it's 35 us dollars so interested people can email me on this email id and i'm going to give you the power bi report along with the data set so that was all about this video i hope you will like this video we'll see you in the next video till then goodbye and thanks for watching